Okay, so we'll start. Uh, uh, before we define the three classes in this uh, project, which are the, the point and uh, circle and cylinder. And we used inheritance, we used inheritance for point, uh, for circle and, uh, and cylinder. So a circle inherits from point and cylinder inherits from circle. So now we have a hierarchy in the top. We have the parent, which is the parent, which is the point. The circle inherits from point and a cylinder inherits from, uh, from circle. Last time I showed you how to do it in the correct way. But today I, I change it to inheritance because I want to show you something, an important topic in uh, object-oriented programming which is called polymorphism. Polymorphism means to do, to use one, one form for many things. One form for many things. This is what we uh, what uh, polymorphism mean, and I'll show you what does that mean. Okay, uh, before we go, as I showed you that these are doing inheritance, so also I change the 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 implementation file. Instead of having here center, we have now point. So it's calling point to initialize the constructor. The same way for a cylinder, it is calling circle to initialize the, the constructor of the, the, the parent of cylinder. The parent of cylinder is the circle. Now, if we go into main, if we go into main, please uh, pay attention to this because this is a new thing. This is uh, what we are uh, doing is what we call in a polymorphism. I can create, I can create an object of type point. So for example here I can say point, let's say P. And I give it x and y, values for x and y. So let's say 5, 10. Okay, now, now, okay, I, I, I want to, sh before I go, so I, I, I want to show you something, Yanni, because it is, this is important. Here in the print, in the print, uh, in, in all, all these classes in point, in point we have print. In point we have print. In cylinder and uh, circle we have print. Okay. So actually print will be inherited from point. But since we declare it here, it means that we are overwriting, overwriting what is there in print what is there in print. Now we are changing the code. If we declare it here, means we are changing the code. Why we change the code? Because the, 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 this uh, class uh, does things uh, in a different way than the parent. So the print in, 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 uh, in, in, uh, in point is just to print the X and Y here. To, just to print the X and Y. But in circle, we need to print other things. Okay, so we need to print the X and Y and the radius. So it is more than what is there in point. That's why we are mo uh, defining it again in class circle. In class circle, we are redefining print because we want to put a new code or improved code or additional code there in the class. The same way with cylinder. Cylinder has a print. Why we have the print? Because we want, 
the printing, you know, the information we want to print about cylinder is more. That is the, what's there in uh, in circle. So in, in 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 cylinder in circle, we print here the x and y and the radius. In cylinder, we print the uh, the the x y radius and we print the height and the, we print the height so you see here in the top in the base class in the base class which is the the one at the top we have print then we change we redefined print it means with that it will overwrite the code that was there yani it will delete the code that was there it, actually it will not delete it it will define its own copy of the function we still can call the print of circle using this code this uh, th this statement here we say circle print we are calling the print of the parent okay we can do this if we want it is not uh, a must يعني. and then in cylinder the same the same way the same way we we, we can call the print in in uh, in, in circle. So now in so in the main, if we define point like this one and then define circle, see, we say for example, uh, one, two, three. Okay, l l l let's do it this way here. I think one, two here, I'll do one, two here. Okay, and then here we will do it three, so you, you will see that the, they are different, four, five. Then we will define a cylinder. And in cylinder, for example, uh, let's call it uh, S and six. This is the X, Y, six, seven, the X, Y. The radius is eight and the height is nine. Okay, so this is how we Yani, this is what we did before. Now, you, you remember that since we defined the objects, these are complete objects. These are, they will be created once the program runs. When the program runs and come to main, they will automatically be created. And the uh, memory will be reserved for each of them. Now I can call, I can call P print. And I can call C print. And I can call S print. You see here, P print, what, which, which print? We have now three print functions. We have now three print functions. So which print will be called by P print? The one for point. Why? How do? You, how, how? How did you know that it will call the, the 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 print for point, this function here? Because why? Because the object is of type point. Then this one will call the print for circle, and the other one will call the print for cylinder. This is you know it now. So if we if we try like try this one you will see that now we are not doing anything about polymorphism still we are not doing anything about polymorphism okay i'll show you how what does that i mean what how, how, how to do, yani. you, you see here we have three classes. We created three objects. In order to call the print in, in each class, we have to define an object for, I mean, of that type, of the, the type of that class, okay? Polymorphism allows us to call any of these 
with just one one of we don't need to create three objects we can create only one and then we can call any of the of the of the of the objects i'll show you here so here in print in point print it, it, it uh, printed the x and y uh, Now here it says in, uh, okay, okay, oh, it's, it's okay. So here in point print, here in point print, it is, cre it is uh, printing X and Y. Then when it uh, goes to a, a circle print, it calls first the point print and prints X, Y, then it prints the radius. When, we, when it uh, goes to a, a cylinder print, it first calls circle print and circle print called point print, and then point print will print x, y, circle print will print the radius, and cylinder print will print the height. This is normal, and this is normal. We expect this one because of the inheritance and how we are doing the, 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 yani the how we are writing the print function in each of these classes. Now, I'll start to explain uh, polymorphism. So first, first, I'll try to do it here. Okay, I'll try to do it here. So now this one is normal. This is, we know it. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll declare three pointers. I'll say point, let's say uh, P pointer. Okay, I'll, I'll do it this way. You see when it is a pointer, you don't need to initialize it. If it is just a normal object, you have to call the constructor and send arguments to that constructor. Otherwise, it will not work unless the, the, in the class there is a default constructor. But since we don't have default constructors, we have to supply arguments to the constructor. In here, we are creating only the pointer. We are not creating the object, we are creating the pointer. So, I'll do three pointers. Circle pointer, uh, C pointer, and cylinder pointer, uh, S pointer, okay. Now, now we have now the, the pointers, just the pointers. The pointers, you know, they take eight bytes in memory. But now they don't point to anything. They don't point to anything. Well, P pointer, I want it to point to what? To object P of type point. So I have P here. So what I'll do, I'll put here. You can do it here in the initialization, or you can do it here. And I can do it here, for example, I say, I say here like this, ampersand P, okay, I can do it here. Or if I don't want to do it here, I can do it here. I say P pointer equals ampersand P. Okay, I can I can do it in either in here or here. But let's let's do it in the initialization. So so I have P pointer here. I have. C pointer, which is a pointer to a circle object. So I say here ampersand C, and the 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 cylinder of uh, this one is a pointer to a cylinder object. So it is, you know, this is what we have. We have S, which is a cylinder object. Okay. Now, still. This is not polymorphism, but this is just using pointers. It is just using pointers instead of direct objects. 
Okay, uh, and I can do here the print. I say, now I want to print, but using what? Using the pointer, not using the object. So I say P pointer. Since it is a pointer, I use the arrow. And I say print. And also C pointer and print and S pointer and print. What we are doing here exactly the same as we did here. This these these calls to the, these functions is the same as these calls here. They will print the same they will give the same results. Because actually it is just instead of uh, pointing, instead of like uh, asking the object itself or the object by itself, it says, for example, if I ask you, you yani, for example, if, uh, every one of you can say his or her name. Okay? This is you do it yourself. But I can point to you, I say, tell me your name, tell me your name, tell me your name. Okay, so I am using a pointer, I am pointing to the object and asking the object to do something. So this is the difference. It will, the result will be the same. Okay, so here it is the same, yani, yani, uh, we are not still, we are not doing polymorphism, but I am saying that instead of invoking or running the function or calling the function using a direct object, the direct object name, I can use it, I can call it, call the function using a pointer to that object. So if I, if I run, if I run this, uh, this, uh, yani this uh, uh, program, you will see that the results will be exactly the same because we didn't do anything, we didn't change anything. So here, if you, here in the beginning, these are, this is for point, this is for circle, this is for cylinder. This was the uh, P print, C print, S print. Now here we are doing it using the pointer. You are, we are doing it using the pointer. So here, for the point, here, for the, uh, circle and here for the the red, for the, the the cylinder it is the same these are the same values if you if you see them they are the same values uh, okay so you understand now this is this is this is what we explained before it's not it's not new and uh, it is not polymorphism yet now I want to ask you, you see here, you see here, I, in order to call, uh, oh, first, P pointer is a pointer to what? To a pointer to what? To a point, a point object. A point object. Can I say here, can I say P pointer, can I make P pointer points, it is now pointing to the point, to the point object. Can I make it points to a circle object? Can, can I can say here P pointer, equals ampersand C. Okay. Now can I can? Hmm? Okay, what what if I say here P pointer print? Uh, 
which one it will print? Which one it, it will print? Circle or point print? Which one it will call? Circle point uh, print or point print? Okay, so we will uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Uh, for this one, uh, I, I will. I, so you will not get many, many, yani many, uh, many, uh, or, or much out, uh, too much output. I will just comment these because now you know they they are doing what they are supposed to do. Uh, also, this one, they are doing what they are supposed to do. Okay, now, so this one I have here one. Now I do another one. Now I have C pointer equals ampersand P. Okay, can I do this? You see here, it is clear, yeah. <laughs> of uh, here we are starting to talk about polymorphism. Okay, now p pointer, p pointer. When I say here p pointer, you 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 remember that that. Uh, that drawing that I did, that there is a cylinder, and inside the cylinder there is a circle, and inside the circle there is a point. Okay, this one here, yes. You see here, we have here, this is the cylinder, object of course it's not c now we have s okay and this is the circle object and this is the point object now what we did is what we created a point a pointer of type circle and we are pointing it to point when we call the when we call the print when we call the print of course, which one it will call? This one or the complete one here with the radius? So it will call the circle print or the point print? Still, still confusing, is it? Let's let's first delete this one or uh, or comment it before be, uh, uh, instead of deleting it, and you'll see the results. Actually, here uh, we have, yani, someone we have an expert. Okay, we have an expert. Okay. Or, or let's say, let's say here, we have, for example, if uh, we have two people, okay, one, we ha and we have three subjects, let's say, call them uh, computer science and physics, we have physics, okay, computer science and physics. Someone knows the two subjects. He knows anything about computer science and he knows I mean he knows everything about computer science and he knows everything about physics and someone knows only about just physics then we send them these two guys to like to do lecture when they went there, they ask 
the first one to do a lecture in physics. Can that guy do the lecture in physics? Huh? He knows computer science and physics, so he can do. He can give a lecture in physics. Yes, no problem. He can do it. Okay. The other one, they ask him to do also a lecture in physics. He can do it. He's expert in physics. He is expert in physics, so he can do a lecture in physics. Huh? The other one, the second one, he can do a lecture in physics. No, no, no. He's he's expert in physics, and they ask him to do a lecture in physics, so he can do it. The other then. Let's say he are another, today went to another place. They asked the first guy to do a lecture in computer science. So he can do it? Yes. The other one, they asked him to do a lecture in computer science. He will not do it. Okay, he will not do it. When we say here, when we say here, okay, when we say here, a pointer, a P pointer, points to a C object. Okay. This is, this means the second guy. He, he knows only about one thing. About something that is related to what? Something that's related to what? Point. To point. You see here in the output, in the output, what it what it prints, it 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 prints uh, it printed points uh, information only points information, because it is a pointer to, it is a pointer to a point object. Even if we have here, even if we have here in circle, many things, other things, this point. Of this point pointer does not know anything about any uh, the other thing. It knows only about point because it is a, a point pointer. It is a point pointer. So it knows only about the information about point. It does not know about anything about circle. So yani if we ask, for example, the first one, the second one. The, 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 this one, they asked him to give a lecture. They didn't specify, he, so he can do it in computer science or physics. The other one asked him to do any lecture. So he will do it only in physics. He will not do it, he cannot do it in, in, in computer science because it is a pointer to this one. He knows only about this area. He does not know about the other area. The other guy can do it, can print here, or can print this one. Okay? He, he can do this one and this one. But you see here why we got this error. We got the error here. Okay, we got the error here. That when we created a C pointer to point you know, a C pointer is supposed to point to a big area. It has this, 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 this many things. But now we are telling this to point to a point object. So how can we, that big, have that, that pointer which is supposed to point to a big area can point to a small area. It cannot be done. It cannot be do, done Yani this way it can be done in another way. Okay. This is the need of polymorphism. You see here, I cannot point a C pointer to a point object. I cannot point a circle pointer to a point object because the circle pointer is supposed to hold many things. But now I am trying to shrink it to make it just point it cannot fit it cannot do this one it cannot it, we cannot do this one 
but we can do it we can do it in uh, uh, using what we call polymorphism how we do it we can make things what we call virtual we can make things uh, we can call uh, we, we can uh, yeah, make things uh, virtual so we can say here use the word you see i am going to to the base class the most the topmost class and i put here the word virtual okay since i put the word virtual here it will be virtual in all uh, subclasses it will be virtual in uh, this one i don't need to put it here it this one print will be virtual this cylinder will be virtual what does virtual mean huh yes <laughs> yeah, in, 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 in English yeah. but here in C++ or in polymorphism you see with the uh, without virtual as I did before a po it will do the, what we call when we have a pointer and we have an object it will do what we call binding it will link this pointer with object it will link them together that's why we need the equal signs to link them together okay we can have what we call static binding as we did here as we did here this we call static binding here we call it static binding means this point this point a p pointer points to a point a point object this c pointer points to a circle it we didn't do anything yani, yani extra it's just pointing to uh, some uh, an object of each type so nothing there but if we i want a pointer to point to something which is not of its type i need to do what we call a dynamic binding a dynamic binding means to do the binding at runtime at runtime so here so here let's let's first let's first before i before i i, I remove this word here and then i'll go into uh, here i'll take this one out you know why why we didn't we cannot do this one but now let's say here uh, I say P uh, okay we, we uh, of course I, I have here I say P pointer P pointer uh, P, P uh, point okay print and then here And then I change this one to to C. Okay. Then I'll change it again to P pointer equals uh, S. And say P pointer uh, print. So, okay. So 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 this one here. Is supposed this one is supposed to print what information about point this is normal in here it's it will print what about information about what just point yes because it doesn't know about circle it will know only about the thing that that related to it which is the the small area inside Okay, so here you see I can I cannot. I mean, this is related also to the other one. Why I can't do this and I cannot do this one? This means 
this is this is the parent okay this is not the direct parent for it for pointer okay the 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 circle is the uh, the point is uh, the uh, the parent of circle but point is not the direct parent for cylinder it's not a direct pa parent for cylinder if i change it for example to here to see pointer and then you see here uh, you can see here see okay what why why it's, it's conversion to Okay, 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 okay. I, mean, I, I, I think, I think I'll, let's, let's, let's leave this out first now and I'll, I'll do it, so instead. Okay, let's try to run this one and see. Okay, so the first one points directly to point as I mentioned. So it printed, it printed the, 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 the information about point. The second one, you see it printed X, Y as 3, 4. Because this is the part of circle that it knows. It is a circle pointer, okay? It points to a circle object, but it, is, it knows about only point. So it will print only the information that's related to point, which is three four. So this is coming three four coming because of the because of the of the definition here of what the values that we sent before. Okay. So now if I change to 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 this one to virtual, now I can do what I can do. Okay. I can I can do. Uh, I can say here P pointer uh, print, okay, and uh, I can say here P pointer uh, okay. Somehow I am mixing the things. Okay, let, let, let's 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 do it. Maybe there's a something error. There's some 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 other error. Okay, here, you see the change? You see the change here? Before, it gave us just, it is the same pointer. We are using the same pointer here, P pointer. When we point to a, a point object, it prints information about that object. But when, even, when, we, when we pointed it to a circle object, which, which function it called? Which print function? Circle. You see here, it printed, it called the circle point, the, cir the circle uh, print function. This is what we call dynamic binding. Now, why we need, we need the base, a pointer to the base class and that pointer can point to any of its subclasses. Any of its uh, subclasses. And each of the subclass, when we, when we call now, when we call the print using that pointer, actually it will tell the object. Now since it is pointing to a point, it will tell the object, the point object to print its information. When we made it, to make to 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 point to a circle object it will ask the circle object to print information if we make it to point to a cylinder object it will ask the cylinder object to print the 
with just one pointer. This is what we call use one form, one form for many things. It is one pointer for many forms, for a point, for a, a circle, or for a cylinder, or for whatever there. It, this will be easy. Why? Because, for example, in, if you are doing a video game, okay, or a, draw, a drawing, let's say not a video a game, a drawing program. And in that drawing program, you have line, you have point, you have uh, uh, square, you have rectangle, you have triangle, you have many shapes. And you don't know the user, you don't know the user, what will uh, create in the, in the, in the, on the screen? Will, the, will, will he draws will he draws like a, a, a line or a circle or a rectangle or whatever but you what you can do what you will uh, have you will have only a list so what you will have you will have here you will create you say point list let's say here list okay list of what for example, of uh, 10 objects, 10 point objects. But now you will do in the list, some of it, some of them, they will point to a point. Some of, the, some of these will point to a, a circle or a cylinder or a rectangle or a triangle. So I can say here, for example, list, list zero. And I, may, I, 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 uh, I make it uh, to a point to, for example, to a, a circle. In list one, okay, uh, I make it to point, for example, to a point. Uh, point, uh, okay, and in, in, in uh, list, for example, three, I can make it point to uh, a cylinder, okay. And then I can do a loop. Here I can say for integer i equals zero, i less than uh, 10, i plus plus. Then what? I ask each object to call itself. I don't know what, what, what their type. I don't know. I'll say just list i print. Okay, print. Okay, I'll do it this way. Then, if it is a point, it will print as a point. If it is a cylinder, it will print as a cylinder. If it is a circle, it will print as a circle. So this is what we call poly polymorphism. We are using just one one thing to point to any type. Okay. So we 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 uh, will finish inshallah for today, and we'll see you tomorrow.